What's up? You know, I was thinking about something. When I started jujitsu, there were so many things that I didn't, I wish that I learned. So like, now that I'm a black belt, you know, I think about it all the time. What are the things that I wish I learned when I was a white belt, blue belt, purple belt? And one of the things that I wish that I did more of when I was a purple belt was roll, get some feedback, make corrections, and immediately apply the corrections. I used to drill, 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 and then try to apply it, but I didn't do a lot of immediate application. That's what this is about. Welcome to the next episode. All right, so this episode's called Roll With Coach B, and we're gonna leave the studio and head to the gym right about now. All right, so welcome back. Uh, I wanna thank Selena for being our first contestant on Roll With Coach P. Uh, so the purpose of Roll With Coach P is uh, for me to uh, train with our students and troubleshoot to help them uh, discover and figure out where their uh, techniques might be going wrong, what I can do to help, and then uh, immediately put into play the, uh, the areas of improvement that uh, we discover during these free rolling sessions. So Selena, um, what have you been working on? Yeah, I've been trying to transition using my lasso guard and actually executing some stuff. Um, I find my guard retention has been getting better, but um, now I, I just have issues like actually following up with it. So that's what I really want to work on for roles and as well as competitions. So like your guard retention, you're getting better at getting your guard back, but then there's a problem with kind of chaining an attack immediately after getting your guard back. Exactly. So I give my opponents an opportunity to take advantage of that and I want to be able to put that chain together. Awesome. Okay, so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna do a full five minute round. I'm gonna give Selena um, appropriate reactions. I might even subtly let her back into where she wants to go, maybe restuff it, maybe repass the guard so that we can assess what's going on and why it's going on, and then we can take it from there. So check this out, have fun, let's do it. Let's go. Okay, No Quentin. <laughs> now screw up, screw up, he's based. Oh yeah, a you coach. Back in front. Back in front. Nice. Work that nice. Up, 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 up. You have it. Other leg. There. Okay, now, now stay in front of him this time. No, you're in, you're inverting without a purpose. Like whenever we're in that position, it's either you go for a toe hold or you go wham. Nice pass. Okay, control the hips. Control the hips and staple his arm. Top, top. 
stay tight. Good. Knee on belly. Don't go for that arm bar. Uh, square up, square up, square up, square up, square up. <laughs> you gotta get that lapel, you gotta get connections. Why is your leg on the ground? Legs up, legs up. Wrap the lapel. Why? Why? Like if I'm in this position, I'd wrap his lapel back here to help pull off. Or use the lapel. I wouldn't. The, or use the lapel here to put it off so I can put it off just now. I just keep framing with the lapel until you square up. Or, it's, it's kinda it's kinda weird to wrap it around when you're Or you don't go for this in the in first place and put it on your little. No. Yeah, just get up, get up. No. Watch the triangle. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have a minute 15 and you're up by six points. Wait, she's not up by six points at all. No, she's down by a lot. Go, Umu. Umu. Why? He had the Umu. Okay, okay, legs up. Keep your legs in front. Jason's supposed to teach today, but uh. I'll teach. Yeah. 30 seconds long. He's in. There you go. Here you go. Nice. MMA kick. MMA kick. What? Do the right up. He did it in class. Don't roll for the. Uh, time. Time. That was fun. Yeah. Your hair changed. Yeah. <laughs> so, in a role, when one thing leads to another, uh, I, I, when I teach the kids, I, I call it the snowball effect, right? So, um, what happens when the snowball is on the top of the hill? It typically starts off fairly small, and then when it starts to roll down the hill, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger until it, it becomes a full-blown avalanche. So, my point is, yes, so my point is, um, there were a couple of um, parts, uh, two main parts in the role that, um, upon review, caused the avalanche to happen. Number one. You pulled into the guard initially very well. So you had the sleeve control and the collar control. You went one, two. Mm -hmm. You got the foot to the hip and went straight to the lasso. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Here's the problem. So you did square up, right? So you are very coachable. You did square up in the lasso. You started to develop your deep lasso. And now what you need to do is you need to go just like worm guard. You need to start to point oh. your knee to the lasso side okay. to cause this problem. Okay. Because you were here and you started to grab the sleeve and had the foot on the hip, what I did was I just grabbed your pant, I stuffed your leg. Right, okay, because there was no control here. Right, but right? If, if I flared that knee. But from here, as soon as you start to, uh, I push down, go ahead, you can just flare and now your balance is lost. Now I can, strip this grip, you're probably going to want to square back up. I can double lasso here, yeah. you see? But because my knee's pointed out this way, my palm's up, my elbow's to my hip, and now look, my, my, my lazy lasso is more of a monitor here to kind of keep you away, right? Even if you break this grip, break this grip, I can start to grab something else, okay? But look, my knee's still pointed this way, okay? It's very, very difficult for you to break. Okay, now I know you're gonna probably wanna use that hand to break the grip, now I can steal the grip. And now look, you're looking for the spider lasso. Now you can change your angle. But if you, if you go here, okay, if you're here, you have to come back around and then start to look for that move. 
that you like to do. Okay. You see? Yeah. Now you can start to bowl low. You can start to like just look for the mouth. Right. So on and so forth. Okay? Okay. So you pull. One, two. Boom. This hit the hip. And then you went right to the lasso. Now, now as soon as you square up, point your knee in the other direction. Yes. So now you're pointing, you're square, but <laughs> I'm not. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> right? So now even if I have control of this, I can't really do much because you're, you're tilting me. So I can always break it. And then it. you can break the grip. You can go double lasso here. Now if I break this grip, you can steal it again. Now you can go spider, change the angle. Now you from here, you have to detach. And then you have to get to the other guard. And you got it. Now, there you go. Okay. Nice. See, right away, I have to start to. That Do makes that. a big difference. Yep. Very cool. Number two. You have a tendency now, so the second go around, you uh, it was either off a of scramble or I must have let you out. Um, off of some fun that we were having, you ended up pulling into that same guard. So this was later into the round, you ended up pulling the same guard. Mm -hmm. I did the same thing and now I've walked you here and now instead of allowing you to square up so that you can put this in a lasso, I know you had this sleeve, mm -hmm. but you kind of just were playing with it here. So what I did was I took a page off of Professor Jason, uh -huh. I grabbed here, I took my hand, I went boom uh -huh. and I pinned. Because I didn't put any... You got it. And what happened was you tried to cross-step. When you cross-step, I do this to you all the time. Yeah. I, I collapsed your cross-step. Mm -hmm. And then now, I even did this. And I started to lift you up yeah. so that I can finish my pass. Right. So now look. Be proactive with this. Okay. Now go. Nope. Yeah, see? I've already changed your behavior. Yeah. But let's say... I continued that behavior and I pushed that down. Oh, you're here now. See, now I can square oh, up, okay. so attack so triangles, so close my guard. So instead of cross-stepping, so stepping, cross -stepping, right? Just go foot on shoulder. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right, so it's Monday. So Anna's had three days to, uh, to study and to figure out and work out all those kinks in the system uh, from Friday. So we're gonna do a test round to see just how much she's learned, all right? Let's do this. There's a little hesitation there. I'm waiting for the lasso, there's the lasso. There it is forcing me to break the grips back out of the lasso. But because your angle has changed, it's a little bit difficult for me to get out. Nice sweep. Well, she hasn't really swept me yet. I would have came up. See if I can put her back in her guard. There it is. She needs to reclaim some sort of grips. There we go. No, I don't want that. Nice, there it is. So it's already changing my behavior. Really good. Let's see if I can put her back in the guard again. Nice. So look what she just did there. She flared her knee to my right. And now it's very, very heavy. I gotta take a knee to try to retain my composure. Meanwhile, she's threatening to sweep. I gotta circle my hands, get her knees pointing back to the other side forcing her to switch cards. Nice. She's two for two, guys. <laughs> two for two. Nice. Nope, she 
got to be a little bit faster with that. I was on one knee, looking for a move. She should have come up there. Okay. She's taking privates with uh, that annoying guy, Malcolm. Let's see what she's made up here. Let's see what Malcolm's teaching her. Oh. I didn't show her that. I didn't teach her that. Refund. I didn't teach her that. Refund, refund. See you, Sammy. Yeah. Nice job. I'm gonna try to put her in a leg drag position. There it is. So again, this is where she does get, always get stuck. She's got a new space, Randy. There you go. Again, I'm on one knee. I would come up right now or I'd find a way to, there it is. side now. Nice. Guys, did you see what she just did there? She used that lasso, put the foot, the, her foot on my shoulder, and used it to square up. Now I'm going to stand up. Now she can't sweep me. I learned from my mistakes. There it is. Very nice. Let's see if I can put her back in that position. There it is. There it is again. Very nice. Into the triangle. See you, bro. Very nice. Nice. Five seconds. Steal it. Steal it. There it is. Exactly. Nice. Okay, guys. So. I thought she learned. I thought she uh, definitely, she definitely, definitely applied what she learned there. Uh, what I was really most impressed about was um, her lasso setup and her using her heel to put on my shoulder whenever I was threatening to go around her. So she was preempting her lasso by putting her heel on my shoulder. Uh, let's show that again. Sure. So whenever she was in this kind of a position. Where I went here, she would jam that heel right to my shoulder. Okay, extend. And now, if I'm leaving my arm here like this, she can start to set up moves. You see, it's already forcing me to, to protect my my uh, knee, so my elbow. So, really good. Awesome job, guys. She's getting it. See you guys later. Made a big difference. All right, so thank you, Selena, for volunteering to be the first contestant on Roll with Coach B. I'm just kidding, man. But, you know, when I decided to revamp this channel, I wanted to do everything with a purpose. Whether it was Eat with Coach B, the, the purpose of that was to answer your questions and share a meal with you. Roll with Coach P, the purpose is to help you, to help our students, our amazing Neo students. So my role with Selena wasn't necessarily to show off the new moves it wasn't necessarily to show off her moves it was so that I could give her the right reactions uh, that way she can learn make the adjustments and apply the adjustments immediately like same day applying the adjustments same day is super helpful in your learning and in your jiu-jitsu and I hope that this video helped you and if you guys want to learn anything or if you guys want to see anything or check anything out don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, um, send me some comments, let me know what you want to learn, what you like, what you don't like, and uh, I'm sure we can do something for you in the future, okay? See you next time, guys. Peace out.